Well, my next guest was stressed. She was in graduate school and she was trying to balance it all. When she had an aha moment, she realized that she needed a time out. And she knew many other grown-ups felt the very same way. And so she started doing stress management retreats and realized that stress can wreak havoc on not just your life, but your health as well. And it was a life-changing moment for her. So Dr. Barbara Mitchell wrote this book. It is called When You Need a Time Out, Create the Ultimate Stress-Free Getaway, One Relaxing Day at a Time, to share techniques she says can help every woman make manage the stress in their lives. Dr. Barbara joins us this morning as part of our book author series. Good morning to you. Good morning, Danielle. Thank you for inviting me. So everybody talks about their inspiration for their book. Stress was the inspiration for your book. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, a friend and I were sitting around talking one day, and we were talking about how stressful our lives had become. You know, like most women, we were juggling work and home, plus we were taking graduate courses. But during the course of that conversation, we started fantasizing about getting away for a day, mm -hmm, maybe going to a spa mm -hmm. and being pampered. We realized that there are a lot of women in this world who felt the way we did. So why don't we start taking women on stress management retreats? And, and obviously, I mean, one of the things we think about too with stress in women is that, you know, women in stress kind of sometimes seem to go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you think that is? How does, women, how does stress affect women in particular? Mm -hmm. Actually, because hormones rule our cycles from pre-adolescent ah. to post-menopause. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And stress also produces a hormone called cortisol. We know it as a fight or flight hormone. So you put those two together, you got volatility. So when there's the cramping and the bloating and the night sweats and the hot flashes all through our cycles, women who are under stress experience these in a more intense way. Mm. So mm -hmm. what are some key steps then that we as women can take to, in your words, be a more vibrant person? And you'll understand what that means here in just a moment. Actually, women need to include some kind of relaxation in their day. And I found that the five most effective ones are breath work, affirmations, meditation, visualization, and progressive relaxation. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get up in the morning, meditation actually take five extra minutes. Set your clock five minutes mm -hmm. earlier. Take the time to meditate and be in the moment, not worrying about the stress of the day, but take time to reflect on what's good in your life mm -hmm. so that then once you get up and get ready to start your day, you've already boosted your spirits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go and do a few affirmations, positive talk about yourself to yourself. This is when you're getting ready to go to, to, uh, go to work. And um, actually look, lay out your day. See what it is that you have to do next and state your intent to succeed in all your challenges. Mm -hmm. Finally, there's breath work and visualization. Breath work is the fastest way for the response for relaxation, and that is using the diaphragmatic breath. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to see how that feels oh, yes, on you, absolutely. Danielle, yes, yes. yes. If you place your hand on your stomach okay. softly and begin on the exhalation and let all the air out of your lungs. Mm -hmm. And then when you inhale, you actually feel your stomach fill. So as you exhale, your stomach will pull in, and when you inhale, it fills fills oxygen in your lungs, goes to the bloodstream, relaxes your muscles, mm -hmm. and relaxes your a quick breath. Mm -hmm. Now do these so, techniques, do they work immediately or is it over time? The relaxation response actually does work immediately. Yeah. It only yeah. takes seconds for your heart rate to still, so, you know, to slow down. Mm -hmm. But also you can take time then if you visualize while you're doing that for this full minute and make it real, you know, the color, the content, what you're doing, mm -hmm. who you're with. The visualization actually releases endorphins, and endorphins are our feel-good chemical. Oh. So that now you're in a good mood. I feel good. You get on to your to-do <laughs> I do, list. yeah, no, it definitely mm -hmm. helps to take some time for yourself, and it that's does. probably the, the bottom line here. And, and why is it important that women do do that, take time for themselves? Mm -hmm. Well, women who practice relaxation every day are less prone to stress-related illnesses and diseases. And actually, if you think about it, Relaxation is not just a guilty pleasure that we mm, used to think, mm -hmm. but now we know that it is an emotional and physical necessity because now we know that it links so much to different illnesses and diseases. Well, good advice, and I'm, again, I'm feeling very relaxed. I'll go home and make dinner and put a smile on my face wonderful, tonight. Thank wonderful. you so much, Dr. Barbara, for sharing this with me my this pleasure. morning. My pleasure. And again, the book is called When You Need a Time Out, Create the Ultimate Stress-Free Getaway, One Relaxing Day at a Time. For more information on Dr. Barbara or for a copy of the book, please visit her website, thecalmingbreath.com.